Hey Pisces, how's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is from May 16th through the 22nd. From Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. Make sure you guys also check out your uh, entire month of May readings. There's a general where we talk about everything and there's singles. There will also be a mid-month singles in like a day or two if you're single Pisces. All right, four of cups, queen of coins, ace of cups, and the full so far, seven of coins, knight of swords reversed, and the magician. Okay, Pisces. So you're coming in as a four of cups, queen of coins this week. Um, everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you person you're dealing with, surrounding circumstances, whatever. Let's get you a couple more on your energy. Knight of Wands. Five of Swords. All right, so you are kind of just like, mm, whatever, whatever, apathetic, indifferent, but you're also, I mean, you could really just be focusing on your money, your job, your stability, your home life, all that. Shit, my cat is gonna um, be real loud if I don't let her in. So, hold on guys, sorry about it. always does this as soon as I sit down. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so for some reason, you're not taking any action. You're just kind of sitting there staring at probably several options, one that sticks out more than others. But you also have the Knight of Wands here. So it could be that you're just um, maybe not sure what somebody else's intentions are. This is like it's a lot of fun. It's spontaneous, adventurous. Um, could be dealing with a younger fire sign. Don't have to though. It could just be that you're kind of just having fun and not real focused on anything else. Um, and with having the five of swords here with the queen of pentacles, you could have a conflict happening with an earth sign here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or it's conflict over like you know, do I want to commit? Do I not want to commit? Do I care? Do I not care? It could be, you know, internal conflict or external. Let's get another one on that five of swords. Why is the five of swords here for Pisces? The Empress, Divine Feminine, Libra Taurus. Huh. You could have some kind of drama happening if you have like like an ex that you have like a whole family with, like kids with, or, you know, at the very least lived with in the past. You could have some conflict with them. There could be some conflict over, you know, do you want kids in the future? Does this person you're dealing with, there could be some conflict over like what it is that you want. Um for the rest of your life, your love life, whatever. You know, this is like conflicting. This is like kind of not really giving a shit, just having fun, just hook up shit. And this is like conflict over the long term, you know, the growth in a situation. So let's get one on that Knight of Wands. The Page of Wands. Yeah, this is very sexed up, very very attraction based, very fun based. This is like some conflict over long term. Um, recent past, you have the Ace of Cups here, your own energy as well as Cancer and Scorpio. This is a new beginning in love. This is like an emotional expression. If it's not an actual new person that came in for you in the recent past, then it, it could be a, like a rebirth of an existing connection, but it's definitely like being emotionally open. You are the person you're dealing with. Now, with having the full here in your present, this is Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. But this is, again, with the adventure. It's it's a whole new chapter. It's just jumping right into something here. So 
there's a lot of conflicting stuff here, Pisces. You might just be, you know, conflicted on what it is you want to do here, and it might go back and forth from day to day. Um, but this is a new beginning. This is taking a risk, whether it's you or the other person wanting to do this. Somebody wants to just kind of jump right in here and see what happens. Why is the full here for Pisces? The Ace of Swords, you've got two aces here. So we have emotion and we have truth. This is a breakthrough. This is kind of like a new communication, some new truth coming out, an epiphany. And it's about a new beginning. It's about taking a chance on something. My dog is drinking our water next to me. I hope it's not annoying you. Spring. All right, why is the Ace of Swords here for Pisces? The sun, well, whatever it is, it's happy. Whatever this new beginning is, guys, this is the ultimate happiness. This is the best card in the deck. All the happiness, all the clarity. It's like something just kind of like clicked and it was like, okay, let's do this. You know, whatever it is. On your part or their part, both of your parts, who knows. What is the sun energy for Pisces? Why is the sun here for Pisces? Oh, what the devil it could be with a Capricorn. It could be something as simple as that. It doesn't have to be awful, um, but we will check into it because the devil can be unhealthy. It could also just be something that is really lusty, um, something that's real obsessive. We'll just have to see what comes out with it because it's not always something awful and it's surrounded by good cards so far. So why is the devil here for Pisces? Why is this dude showing up? He's hot as shit, but whatever. <laughs> Why is the devil here for Pisces? The Seven of Cups reversed. This is new clarity. It could be like some clarity coming in about a toxic situation. And you might just want to leave one certain situation behind. And it doesn't have to be a person or a connection. It can be a behavior. It can be a mindset. It could be just an unhealthy behavior pattern. It can even be fear. It could be getting over some fear and being like, you know what? I am going to take a risk. Um, you too. My cat and my dog are like playing and they're really loud. My dog is only 11 pounds, so she thinks that she's one of the cats. But this is this is like clarity coming in. All right, let's get another one on that. Yeah, I don't think that this is bad. I think it just might be a recognition of something that's holding you back or has been thus far. Two of Pentacles. Keeping things in balance. You could just be like trying to decide, juggling a couple different things, maybe a couple different people. But if that's the case, it's not like a cheating thing. It's just like if you're dating and dating a couple people or whatever. Anyway, your potential obstacle is the Knight of Swords reverse. This is blocked communication. So communication is an issue here. I see, you know, you have the Ace of Swords here, so it's coming in. But currently, you know, somebody could just not be communicating well at all. Not being honest, whatever. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed here for Pisces? Somebody can be trash talking. The High Priestess reversed. There could be like some kind of secret that needs to come out and it's not. Some kind of conversation that needs to be had and it's not being had. Um, in your immediate future, you have the Seven of Coins. So this is investing in something. This is actually making the effort putting the time and energy into something that's meant to be long-term. Why is the seven of coins here for Pisces? The six of wands. Scrimp, can you just lay it down, please? Scrimples, come on, lay down. Lay down, little one. All right, six of wands. You could be meeting somebody online. This is also just about putting yourself out there, letting yourself be seen. Um, being appreciated for like the effort that you have put into something or the other person you could be dealing with somebody who's in like the spotlight for something maybe you are three of cups celebration um 
off topic as far as love, but somebody, you could be like winning some kind of award here. There could be some kind of a celebration where there's some kind of like award being given. Something, you know, that was like well-earned. All right, anyway. Um, you could be reuniting with somebody. You could be meeting somebody through friends and family or on social media. Um, I don't think this is third party here because it's surrounded by good shit. But let's see. Get another one on that. Nine of Wands. This is like kind of like you feel like giving up, but you're not. You're not giving up yet. You're still trying, um, but just like kind of on the verge. Things look good, though. Things look to be like turning around. And I'm going to get your energy with the different signs here in a minute as well. All right. Your advice is the magician. This is about you being on your shit. This is you manifesting whatever it is that you want in your love life. You know, setting the intention. You have everything within you that you need to get what it is that you want here or in whatever situation. Obviously, you can't control people, but if there's a type of person, you know, without attaching a name to it, if there's a type of person that you're trying to manifest, you can do that. If there's a type of relationship that you're trying to manifest, you can do that, you know? What is the magician for Pisces? Why is this here? Strength, Leo. You could have something with a Leo. This is about overcoming obstacles. This is, you know, your inner strength. It's kind of like you, you're willing something to happen. You need to understand that you have that kind of power. I feel like this is important. I feel like for some reason you feel apathetic because you feel disempowered. And it's probably for a good reason, but that's not reality. You know, you hold all the power here in your life. All right, let's get another one on that. Judgment reverse. She could be closing the door on something for good. Somebody might be trying to, you know, have some kind of second chance with you. You could be saying no. You might feel like you made a bad judgment call on something and it's kind of making you feel like you don't trust your own judgment. Let's get another one. The lovers, Gemini. You've got four majors here in a row. You've got so many majors in this reading. It's ridiculous. Um, but the lovers, so, um, could definitely be some kind of third party here. This is my only deck that has three people on the lovers here. So I don't think that it's a cheating thing though. I think it's probably just dating a couple people if there's more than two people involved here. Um, but this is a divine counterpart. This is like, you're trying to manifest somebody who is your divine counterpart, somebody who, match it oh my god if i could fucking talk matches you you know in every aspect that's your perfect match that you're, that you're equal gemini if i didn't say that already all right um and don't settle for any less if that's what you're looking for guys there's no reason you can't have it let's get you some romance oracles and then we'll get your energy with the different signs all right what does pisces need to hear this week Pisces, what do you need to hear this week? What's up with ya? What's up, Pisces? What's up? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I don't see an actual partner here, but you might have just been like out of a relationship for a while. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, I do feel like that's an issue here with that Knight of Swords reverse. Somebody's not speaking their truth. All right. Um, who do we have here so far? Everybody? Fucking everybody? <laughs> Basically, you've got Aries, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Gemini, Leo. Okay, one more time. Aries, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Leo. Those are your majors so far. All right, here we go. Pisces dealing with Aries. Page of Wands reverse, just sex based. They're uh, real immature. Pisces and Taurus. King of Wands reverse. They um, are not the nicest person. Very controlling, very demanding, very arrogant. 
Pisces and Gemini, the chariot. And you, remember, you have Gemini in this reading. So um, that is definitely something that can move forward or is if you want it to. It's victory. It's success. They could be at a little bit of a distance from you, but it won't be a problem. Pisces and Cancer. Ace of Pentacles reverse. They're not looking for anything long term. Pisces and Leo, which you have in this reading, King of Swords. So the communication between the two of you is good. Um, you probably have some kind of like intellectual connection with them. Um, as far as any feelings, if there are any, I don't see them talking about it. They're trying to be really head over heart. Pisces and Virgo. Three of Cups. You could be meeting a new Virgo through friends and family. You could be reuniting with one, but this is definitely celebratory. Um, if you're already connected to one, this is, it's really good for that. It can even be like engagement. Pisces and Libra. Knight of Wands reverse. You've got a lot of people that are like just looking for sex right now. Yeah, that's like one night stand shit. Pisces and, where are we at? Scorpio. The world reverse, you could have a Scorpio that feels like they have unfinished business with you. Pisces and Sagittarius, Ten of Wands reverse. That's getting dropped by one of you or both of you because it's just too draining. Pisces and Capricorn, which you had in this reading. Knight of Cups. Um, they are the type that is like fall in love in like a week. Real... Um, romantic, real flirty. There are genuine feelings there. So I would say that looks like something that you might want to explore. Pisces and Aquarius, the moon reversed. Um, they could be an Aquarius Pisces cusp, but there's something being revealed about your connection with them. Good or bad, I don't know, but there's something that's been hidden under the surface that's going to come out. Pisces and Pisces, three of wands. So this is like waiting. It's looking towards the long term. There is the potential for a future with them. Um, it's just kind of like a waiting right now. They might be at a distance from you, but that won't be a problem either. All right, you guys, take care. Thanks for hanging out with me.